Hello, I'm Polly and this is my desk. Um, I'm going to talk to you about how I work and um, answer some questions that I think have been sent in to the blog. So, um, That's a tricky one because collaborating, I suppose it would be with a writer. There are lots of illustrators I'm big fans of, but I don't think I'd want to collaborate with them, I'd more like I'd want to be them. So um, collaboration would be with a writer, I suppose, or a musician. I'd like to collaborate with John Lennon if he was around. <laughs> but um, a writer, I've always fancied um, illustrating The Wizard of Oz, actually, and I, I've, I've got the book here, which is which is, always amazes me because it's so slim and to think you can get all that colour and amazement in a book that's so tiny is just... I, I've, always, I've always loved it but then I don't know, it's difficult because it's a film and you know, you have such, it's such a thing to you know, change people's visions when it's already been illustrated or filmed so well so it's, um, I don't know whether it will ever happen but I would like to. <laughs> Um, which comes first, name or the image? It's always different, actually. You, n you never know. Um, but normally a scribble, a little sketch, a tiny little drawing, and then um, I suppose it's the essence of the character that comes first. And then the sh it's sort of... They find their shape, and then the name is the last thing. And I always think the name is, is an easy thing to do. It's It's... It's the icing on the cake, but actually it's really hard because um, to get it just right. So I write lists and lists and lists and lists of names. And then it's getting the names to work with each other. So with the Tilly and Friends, there are six of them. So um, it, it was a kind of balancing act. And it turned out that three of the names began with T, which is Tilly, Tiptoe and Tumpty, which may have been a mistake, but... Um, it was tricky, but after the complications of trying to write a story, you, you think it's going to be easy, um, but it's not. But I would say, yeah, the, the, the flavour of a character is the first thing that pops into my head. Um, if I could be any character. Well, when I was a child at school, I was in an, um, a play of Alice in Wonderland, and I really wanted to be Alice. Um, but I was the Mad Hatter. But that was, I think, looking back, that was probably the better part. Um, I've always been a big fan of Alice in Wonderland. Uh, when I was a student, we had a, um, a college party and we had to dress up as our hero and I um, dressed up as Elmer the Elephant um, and I painted myself with checks and nobody quite got what I was. <laughs> but um, Elmer is a, a character that I love so he was one of one of my heroes so I, I reckon I'd be him I love all the colours um, this is a question that I suppose most authors get asked a lot and it's a very very difficult one and as soon as you think you found out where inspiration is it will never be in the same place again so for instance with the book Penguin I was given a toy penguin and that sparked the idea for the story. So since then I've gone out and bought lots and lots of different toys and think, well, one of these toys is gonna to give me an idea and of course it doesn't, so it, it, there's no way of knowing. Um, I find by sitting here at my desk trying to think of an idea is, is the worst thing and um, they always come when I'm not expecting them or when I'm on holiday or when I'm going to a new place. I think your, your mind opens up and you let new ideas in, and that's when it happens. So I've written most of my books in very unusual places, like in the back of a taxi, or it, it, um, you know, hopefully sitting by a pool, but not not that often. So um, you never know. But I usually carry a sketchbook, and they normally come when I don't have it with me. That's a lovely question. Would I recommend dance lessons? Um, it's really nice that people have said that before that my work reminds them of, of music. And 
sadly I am tone deaf. I can't sing and I can't dance and I can't play a musical instrument and it's really, really sad. <laughs> I would love to be able to and I envy people who can and I think maybe um, I try and get what I can't do, that lack of my ability onto the page. I. Um, I suppose I express that through the through the drawing, and I love music, and I listen to music while I'm working, so that feeds in. Um, so I, I'm lucky that I've met a musician, Tom Gray, who who is who is colla I've collaborated with a lot on um, with the puppet shows, and he has that that talent, and he can look at my work and without me really saying anything, know how to translate it into music. So it's a case of what I can't do with collaborating with somebody that can.